All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we've got an update on the Gervonta Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia pay-per-view, and at least a portion of the undercard has been released, um, and feedback's not too great. <laughs> Let's talk about that in this video. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to be in the 135 pound division where Gervonta Tank Davis is going to be fighting Ryan Garcia at 136 pounds uh, for, uh, for a lot of money. No belts on the line, but clearly considered to be one of the biggest fights in boxing. The undercard has just now been released, and we will be going over that. For what it's worth. Before I get into that though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support, uh, especially to everyone that says uh, that uh, supports in the super thanks. Shout out to John Boy and Barbara D today. Thank you very much. And always Maddie Yo. Thank you guys for continuing to sponsor the videos. But let's get into this undercard for Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia, which will cost me 80, cost us $84.99. If you are paying $84.99, which I will be doing because I am not about to miss the main event. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're going to feel about this undercard because it is underwhelming. It's the, about the best I can say about it because, uh, ugh, let's go through it. Uh, Michael Benson announced that Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia undercard in Las Vegas is Dave Morrell, the WBA regular champion, and one of the best up-and-coming fighters in all of boxing. That is uh, starting off the undercard list with a bang. But then we move to a fizzle pretty quick because we're now at Senior uh, Ad uh, Agbeko, uh, and that is a fighter from Ghana. He, I do believe he is uh, around, I think he's, let me, uh, that is uh, Sina Abeko, and Sino Abeko's uh, record is da, 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 27 and 2 with 21 knockouts, and he's been knocked out one time. Uh, he has uh, been in the United States for a while now, so he's not a Ghanaian fighter that has only fight and fought in Ghana. He's been in the United States uh, for about eight years fighting in the United States. Uh, no particularly big wins on his record. As of three years ago, he was still fighting guys with records of eight and 58. His last fight, uh, last three fights were Apollo Thomas uh, in Sioux City, Wilford Harris Jr. in Sioux, back in Sioux City, <laughs> Iowa, and uh, e, uh, 16-0 uh, Isaiah Steen in Atlantic City. So uh, suffice it to say, that that is not necessary. That is not that overwhelming a competitor. Uh, so yeah, I think that is the from what uh, of the list here. That's probably going to be the fight that goes on right before Gervonta Davis and Ryan Garcia. Uh, before that, there is Gabriel Rizzato versus uh, Bektemir, uh Malik Uziev the second. And if you're not familiar with who Gabriel Gabriel Rosado is, Gabriel Rosado is a Puerto Rican fighter out of Philadelphia and is, I would say, prototypical journeyman right now. Pretty prototypical journeyman, journeyman fighter. Not, you know, he's gonna he's a good entertaining fighter, and he's a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. He's definitely a good fighter. Sorry about that. Slight break from my dogs going banana because somebody was at the door. Good fighter, but not necessarily, you know, somebody that I think is, uh, you know, somebody that you really are interested in seeing fight. Usually that he's fighting guys that are 
um, you know, that are looking for a win, that you're looking to make the guy look good, but have him in a tough fight. Journeyman, tough, tough journeyman, but yet, you know, journeyman all the same. And this particular um, circumstance, I do believe, is a rematch because Gabriel Rizzato um, already knocked him out. If I'm correct, which is in 8 6 19 to 2021, Gabriel Rizzato uh, knocked him uh, uh, knocked him out in the third round. So this is a oh man, I'm hoping this is a practical joke because that is a looks like they're running that back. So yikes, not necessarily the best. And then for the last fight that they have listed, it is. Uh, Elijah Garcia versus Ken uh, 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 Kevin Sel uh, Salgado. Now, I have seen Elijah Garcia fight in person. I believe that he was on the undercard of the Mark of the Brandon Figueroa or Mark Maxayo card. Either that or he was on the undercard of the Ray Vargas Mark Maxayo fight. But he was one of the preliminary fights for that. Good fighter. Um, good fighter. I enjoyed watching him the fight. But, you know, nothing that is really going to keep you you know, really, really enthralled in the fight. So um, this is kind of a letdown, uh, especially since there were so many rumors being thrown around about who was going to be on the card. And in uh, and after the last fight with Gervonta Davis and uh, his pay-per-view with Hector Garcia, having such an outstanding undercard with guys like, um, man, who was on that card? I forgot already, but it was, Dem I think Demetrius Andre was on that card. You had... Um, you had uh, Jerron Ennis uh, versus Karen Kukadajan on that card. And then, of course, you know, Gervonta Davis and uh, Gervonta Davis and Hector Garcia, which wound up being a very, very good fight. So, you know, the total like the, the main event in this particular uh, pay-per-view is what everybody's looking forward to. Right. It's going to do a huge gate. According to Leonard Ellerby, it's already in one of the top. It's already sold enough tickets to be in the top 10 gates of all time. Uh, a pay-per-view is probably going to do very, very well, but, you know, can't lie, won't, you know, won't try to uh, pull the wool over your eyes on this one. This is an incredibly top loaded pay-per-view card. If what they're saying is actually true. Okay. Now there again, I did uh, have a conversation with Gervonta Davis's coach, Calvin Ford, who said, try Sure, he said Truck Simpson is going to be on that card, and there's other cards, other uh, fighters out of Baltimore who are going to be on that card in the DC area, or actually out of Upton Gym that are going to be on that card. But you know, there was uh, some rumor that Zapata was going to be on that card. That's not taking place. Obviously, Jerron Ennis, as far as this goes, is not uh, going to be on that card. Um, you know, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. This is a fight. This is a uh, this is a fight that every the, a, a big top loaded card seems like most of the money and the revenue for the fight is going to go to pay the headline fighters and not really have much expenses associated with it on the undercard. Kind of unfortunate considering how much money people are paying for seats. Um, but hey, man, you want you want you do get Dave Morrell Jr. Yeah. What can I say? But hopefully there'll be some more car, more fighters announced on that card and maybe it can look better the closer we get to it because clearly there's going to be more than three on there but it is what it is you let me know what you think in the comment section and with that i'm out peace